Welcome to how to turn a Raspberry Pi into a network storage server. I use a Raspberry Pi in a hard disk box to build my own network storage server. The hard disk box installs up to two traditional hard drives. In this case I use two hard drives of the same size to set up data protection. First I install an OS on the Raspberry Pi. I connect the memory card to a computer. Here is a detailed guide on how to install Open Media Vault on a Raspberry Pi. Open Media Vault is a free operating system for building a personal network storage server. Prerequisites SD Formatter SD Memory Card Formatter for Windows or Mac Scroll down For Windows. Scroll down. Accept. SD Formatter version 5 Windows English. Install. Finish. Select the memory card from the drop down list. Quick format. Format. Yes. OK. The memory card is formatted successfully. Scroll down. The Raspberry Pi OS Imager Software to install an OS on a memory card SD Raspberry Pi OS Download for Windows Launch Raspberry Pi Imager Finish Choose Device Raspberry Pi 4 that's what I use. Choose OS. Raspberry Pi OS Other. Raspberry Pi OS Lite 64 bit. Choose Storage. SDHC Card. Next. Edit. Settings. Set username and password. Password. 123. I use a simple password. Don't forget to enable SSH service. SSH service helps you access Raspberry Pi remotely. Yes. Yes. Continue. Connect the memory card to Raspberry Pi. Plug in. Don't forget to connect the Ethernet cable. Use an IP address scanner or go to the router management page to find the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi 192.168.0.146 You use the IP address for remote access. Download PuTTY a free SSH and Telnet client for Windows. I use an application called PuTTY to access remote with SSH. Download the 64-bit version. File downloaded successfully. Next. Finish. Use the device IP address to access remotely with PuTTY. 192.168.0.146 Open Accept Username Admin Password 123 Login successful
Continue with the Open Media Vault installation guide. Scroll down to completed steps. Know the device IP address. Successfully log into the device using SSH. Continue with the step. Raspberry Pi OS updates and upgrades. Update. Copy command. Paste command. Enter. Clear. Upgrade. Copy command. Paste command. Enter. Clear. Add one more command. Copy command. Paste command. Enter. Please reboot the system now. It asks me to reboot the device to apply the changes. Restart command. Putty will disconnect, this is expected. Wait 3 to 5 minutes and reopen a new Putty SSH window and log in again. Log into the device again. Enter IP address. Open. Username. Admin. Password. 123. Install OMV. Copy command. Paste the command. Enter. Once the script is running, click out of the SSH window so the scripts will not be interrupted. Do not close PuTTY. That will terminate the root session. Minimizing PuTTY is okay, but it must be running. Depending on several factors, running this script may take up to 30 minutes. 30 minutes. It's been quite a while. When the script is completed, the Raspberry Pi will automatically reboot. Automatically reboot. The system will reboot now. First time login. After 3 to 5 minutes, OMV can be logged in using the same IP address that was used for the SSH client, entered in a web browser address bar. Username Admin Password Open Media Vault Enter the IP address 192.168.0.146 Username Admin. Password. Open Media Vault. Login. Incorrect password. You are using the same password as SSH. Password. 123. Login. Login successful. Open Media Vault setup complete on Raspberry Pi. Settings page. All. 
save. Next I connect traditional hard drives to it. This is the hard disk box. USB DC Power button Fan Inside RAID setup switch there are four modes. HDD1. Connection interface. HDD2. Connection interface. I use two traditional hard drives to avoid data loss so I use RAID 1. RAID 1. Only recognizes data stored on one hard drive and backs it up to another hard drives. Switch 1 to number. Switch 2 to on. If any hard drive fails, data will not be lost. Switch 1 to off. Switch 2 to on. A closer look. RAID 1. Install the hard drives. Align the hard disk with the installation port to install and secure the hard disk. Secure it with screws. Align the hard disk with the installation port to install and secure the hard disk. Secure it with screws. Insert the installed hard disk into the hard disk box and secure it with screws. Set up storage. Storage. Disks. RAID 1. Wipe. Yes. Quick. End of line. Close. File systems. Create and mud a file system. X4. Device. RAID 1. Save. Create file system. End of line. Close. Usage warning threshold. 90%. File system. X4. Save. Apply. Yes. Shared folders. Create. Name. Data. File system. Save. Apply. Yes. Services SMB Settings Enabled Save Apply Yes Shares Create Shared Folders Data Save 
apply. Yes. Create a new user. Users. Users. Create. Create. Name. Password. 1234. Confirm password. 1234. Save. Apply. Yes. Set permissions for shared folders. Storage. Shared folders. Data. The folder has just been created. Permissions. New username. Read and write. Save. Apply. Yes. Data. Access control list. Read and write. Save. Check the results. Open the run window. Enter IP address of Raspberry Pi. 192.168.0.146. OK. Username. Password. 1234. This is the account just created on Open Media Vault. Remember my credentials. Login successful. Data. This is a shared folder. Upload any file. Done. These are the steps to turn Raspberry Pi into a network storage server. Thanks for watching. I recommend you set up a static app address for long term use. Network. Interfaces. F0. Edit. IP version 4. Static. Address. Netmask. Gateway. IP version 6. Disabled. DNS servers. 8, 8, 8, 8. Save. Apply. Yes. Map network drive. Network. Raspberry Pi. Username. Password. 1234. Remember my credentials. This PC. Map Network Drive. Raspberry Pi. Data. Finish. Use a more memorable name. See you in the next video.